coffee more coffee and we're gonna go rescue the DARPA chief right after we check out Meryl uh, yeah a woman <laughs> not him a woman This is good because now I'll be able to drink coffee throughout this entire long ass cinematic that's about to happen. Like, is that, was that really necessary? You know what I mean? Crawl up a few feet. And now I get to sit back for about, I'd say about 10 minutes. Hope you guys have a beverage as well. It's a good cinematic though. I love the story of Metal Gear. Like I, 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 you can't do a playthrough of Metal Gear Solid without leaving the cinematics Who's and the codec calls in. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? It's the whole reason why you play these games is for You're the story. Me, I mean, though. the action is cool. The game What's itself is fun, but it's all about the story. I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. <sighs> Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. <clears throat> Is it possible? <sighs> it's possible. They could launch a nuke. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you are here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? <laughs> I had heard Alaska. that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. <coughs> On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms taking ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> what? If I want to talk to myself, I'll talk to myself.
Might want to keep your voices down, fellas. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation <clears throat> code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... <clears throat> they found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. I already powers. know this, Snake. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key... So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? <laughs> yes. Excuse me. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you approach the door security devices, they will read the data Hideo stored Hideo in the Kojima. card. So the creative. doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? Just the way he explains. You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses the or anyone? The way that the no game mechanics work. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon. <laughs> Oh no. I've got terrible gas. Huh? What's that? Hey, what happened? He did. I say you, he did.
Naomi, and then the, the chief. Codex called. What happened? I, uh, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? No, Colonel. Are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. <sighs> this counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. Of course I'm he just is. here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Open the door, Meryl. Here we go. <clears throat> Don't move. Goodness. So you Scandalous. killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun Can't at a person? Mind Your games. hands are shaking. <gasps> Surprise! Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out Looks of here. Like we'll be a little delayed. Uh. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Get the SOCOM out. Actually, I should throw a stun grenade. Now I'll get the SOCOM out. Oh! Well then. Oh no! Oh, this is so difficult. I have to shoot them in the head. Okay, this is what about head level. For? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you. You are a rookie. Shoot. Come on, Meryl. <laughs> yes. Oh no, I'm empty. Shit. Where's the other one? Ah! This is so hard with the keyboard. Got you. Got you. Boom. All you have to really do is put them to sleep. Save my SOCOM bullets. Oh no! Miss me. Oh shit! Okay, we're done. I wish they gave you more, like, SOCOM bullets to start with because I guess the idea is you gotta hit them in the head. I should have just started doing that right away. Thanks for the help. Wait! Hey. Ooh, dead ass. <laughs> Who are you? Whoa, man. 
You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. <gasps> That's the DARPA chief. What? What? I'm gonna play no, along because we'll I already know this code. code. But I'm gonna play along for you guys. Boss, I have a good idea. Maybe I'll drop a few hints. So if he's already dead, who was I just talking to? No idea why she does that, but okay. I'm just gonna shoot it in a circle. some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been Psycho psychometric Mantis. interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. Yep. And now I'll probably get to walk two feet before... I have to have another Kodak conversation. Let's load up on some bullets. Take this book. I think it's, I think it's a dirty magazine. There's nothing under Meryl's bed. And I can't go anywhere else, so let's do this. Let's go! Off to save Baker. I don't believe there are any guards in the vicinity. Ooh, we gotta watch out for those though. It's my C4. Open, open, open. 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 Alright, I have lots of C4. Oh yeah. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Alright, I don't, didn't even need to do that. Come on. Ah! Sometimes you can knock the doors off and there is actually stuff in them. But not that time, apparently. Gonna need lots of SOCOM bullets. Suckin' bullets. Alright. Oh, did I go in here already? No, I didn't. Hand grenade. Those are not useful for this coming part. But actually, I will need them later, so. Oh, and the reason why, remember you said look for discoloration of walls? Well,. There it be! And blow that up. And next one's right here, you can see it. It is discolored. And then the last one. You really want to be careful, like, get a good 
distance away because the C4 can be pretty harsh. All right, here we go. This is a cool part. This is a really cool part, actually. I don't know how tough this too late? fight I'm about to have is going to be using the keyboard. It's kind of difficult. I'm using my arrow keys when I'm in first person to look around, so it's kind of difficult. It'd be nice if I could use my mouse, but right. oh. it just doesn't make sense, the buttons. Don't worry, I'm here to save you. It's the best I could do. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! C4! Right. Touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. This takes so long. Ocelot. Ocelot. <laughs> Solid snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Here we go. Let's save state. Save state. Oh. Hiding won't help you. A gun's power isn't in its muzzle velocity. Forget how to do this. <laughs> oh shit. Boom! Oh. Got you. you. Have to be so delicate on the. Uh, oh shit. Oh no! I hit myself. Got him. Oh, I should have got him there too. I love to reload during a battle. Ah. Got him! Oh no! Shit! Uh, you stupid fool! Alright, let's try that again. Gotta be careful! I didn't get the headshot. 
Why is that? Go, couple hits on him. Oh, no, 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 down. Got him. So you can kind of do this two ways. Got him! Yes! That wasn't too difficult. I'm starting to get the hang of the uh, arrow keys. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I killed myself once. Since I had such a good fight. Should have had him. I'm just getting warmed up. Don't ask that question. I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. Out. Okay, there's still another long ass cinematic coming up. Talking to this guy. I'm gonna put it on the next episode. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Who are you?